Okay, hi, welcome to our uh, Pilates class. It's so nice to see all of you. Cool, let's get started. We're gonna lie down on our mat and set up neutral spine. What am I seeing there? Nothing, okay, good. So lie on the mat and set neutral spine. Pilates train tracks. We want our shoulders, our hips, our knees, and our second toes to track in two straight lines. And then we're going to draw the pubic bone towards the rib cage. That's to find our spinal imprint or a tuck. And then we're going to send our hips down towards our toes to find our arch. Now, if you just let your hips flop into the ground, but wherever they land naturally, that's likely to be your neutral pelvis and you're likely to be in a nice neutral spine. But we're going to get technical about it. Place the thumbs in your belly button. Place the first two fingers of both hands on your pubic bone. And without moving anything below the rib cage, curl up to look at the diamond that you've created. So your diamond works like a spirit level. You'll need to make little adjustments until your fingers and your thumb are the same distance from the ground and then tuck your chin in, rest your head, your shoulders, and at last your hands down. All right, let's practice switching when our T-zone. We do that by lifting the pelvic floor up, 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 up from the perineum to the navel. And at the same time, we dish the fronts of the hips inwards and down. In Pilates, we inhale to the backs and the sides of the ribs through the nose, and we exhale through the mouth, dishing the front ribs down. So we're gonna move on the exhale. Take a breath in through the nose to prepare. Exhaling through the mouth, pelvic floor lifting, dips hips dishing in and across. Hold that teaser in tight for another inhale. And then slowly soften it as you exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Hold the T-zone as you breathe in. Slowly relax as you breathe out. Let's take our fingertips and see if we can feel that we're doing a good job. So the fingertips are gonna to come to the inside of the hip bones and you're gonna dig them down so that you can feel those muscles kick back when we switch them on. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, tightening the T-zone gradually. Holding the contraction as you breathe in. And softening, feeling the muscles melt away as you breathe out. One last time, T-zone tight, breathe in. Oh, sorry, prepare, breathe in, contract, breathe out. Notice that the muscles kick into the fingertips, hold it, inhale, and slowly relax it down, exhale. Great, we're gonna come up to the arms now. So bring the hands up into, uh, on the vertical alignment, press the shoulder blades down into the ground and think about extending through the elbows. We're not locking out, but we are extended. Keeping the ribs down, this is arm prep. Teaser and tight, we inhale. Keeping the shoulders flat, take the thumbs back till they touch the ground on your exhale. Slowly bring them back to your start position, breathing in. Keep the ribs down as you extend them away, breathing out. So nothing moves except the arm from the armpit. The shoulders stay down, the chin is tucked in, the neck is nice and long. Speaking of chins tucking in, if you find that really difficult, if you feel like your chin's pointing up to the ceiling, you can roll in the back edge of your mat so that it's underneath the head. Or you can even find a little cushion or your yoga block to place under your head. Exhaling the arms away. Let's inhale them back up, turn the palms over and rest them down on the ground. Before we start moving with our legs, guys, I want you to think about the inner thighs, the iliacus. So if we focus on trying to peel our foot off Velcro as we lift it, we should feel the inner thigh switch on just as much as the hip flexor. In fact, maybe a little bit more. Cool, so we're gonna inhale the T-zone tight. Exhale, start to peel the right foot away from the ground till it's in tabletop position. So that's 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. Slowly replace it as you inhale and then lift the left foot off, first peeling it off the Velcro as you exhale. Slowly control it back to the ground as you breathe in, lifting that right leg, peeling it away as you breathe out. Good, controlling it down as you inhale, switching to the left as you exhale. We're gonna keep this belly flat, rib to hip connection. Shoulders are resting down on the ground. 
and the pelvis is heavy on the floor. This is your last one on the left, and we're going to switch it up into lift and extend. So the breathing changes. We now inhale to lift the right foot into tabletop. Exhale, extend it out long and straight, beautiful pointy toes. Bring it back up to the start, uh, up to tabletop, inhale, and then pop it on the floor, exhale. Inhale, peel off the Velcro, tabletop, left side. Exhale, extend it out long and straight. Pick it back up again, breathe in, pop it down on the mat. Breathe out, so peel the right leg up. Inhale, T-zone tight. Rib to hip, push the toe away. Keep the belly flat, bring it back, inhale. Press it down onto the mat. Exhale, left side, lift on the inhale. Extend on the exhale. Bring it back, breathe in. Pop it down, breathe out. You're gonna keep going. You've got two more on both sides, I'm just checking on you. Now team, it is splits temba. So we're gonna be working on really nice, long, straight legs and pointy toes. I want you to find full extension. Great, finding full extension through the legs. Nice, last one on the left. And once you finish that on the left leg, we're gonna come into our rectus abdominals crunches. So fingertips at the base of the skull, elbows and collarbones wide. Inhale, the teeth are tight. Exhale, curl from the ribs, eyes on the thighs. Bring it back down as you breathe in. Curl it back up as you breathe out. Good, now we're trying to take the ribs to the hips, yeah? Curl them down, scoop the belly out. I'm not pushing the middle of the back into the ground. I'm keeping my pelvis in neutral and my tailbone is anchored down. My chin is tucking in, the crown of my head is reaching up towards the ceiling. Let's try extending the arms as we exhale. Bring them back as you inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, return. Now, if your neck is feeling really strong today, you can keep the arms extended. Inhale to roll down and exhale to curl up. Cool, you can inhale to roll down, exhale to curl up. That's a bit too much for my neck today. So I'll exhale, extend and inhale, replace. I'm gonna check on you, you have three to go. Curling up on the exhale, good. Staying on those Pilates train tracks. Re, keep your elbows wider, please. Don't let them be towards your nose. You want the elbows out wide to the side. Fantastic, coming back to lie on the ground, we're gonna come into our obliques twists now. So the fingertips return to the base of the skull. We energize the elbows up and out. T's are tight, we inhale. Take the right rib across to the left hip as you exhale. Come back down on the breath in, left rib over to right hip on the breath out. Cool, so inhaling to come down, exhaling to take it across, keeping the back of the neck long, keeping everything below the ribs still. Inhaling it down, exhaling it over. I'm just checking on you. Good, really focus on rib to hip connection, belly nice and tight. That's looking great. We can make it a little harder, guys. Exhale, extend the arms to the opposite leg. Inhale the hand back and the head down. Exhale the other one over. Inhale it down to the floor. So we're extending the arm cross, keeping the shoulder down, bringing it back on the inhale, taking it over on the exhale. Lovely, you got four more to go. Use that breath. We wanna really remember that the inhale is through the nose, the out, exhale, the outhale. The exhale is through the mouth. Words are hard today, guys. Words are really hard. Last one. All right, bring the head to the floor. Must be the heat getting to me. Extend the arms by the sides. We're going to come into a single leg circle. So remember the iliacus first. We're going to extend the right leg till it's long and straight. Now to do that, we have to squeeze the front of the thigh, lengthen the big toe, not inwards, lengthen the big toe out and away. And then we also need to feel the back of the knee yawn open. Cool, so we've got an arrow. The toe is shooting energy out, but the thigh is shooting down through the hip. T-zone tightens, breathe in. Take it down just below the knee as you breathe out. And we're gonna turn that toe weight out to the side. Semi-circle it up and around on your inhale. Lengthen it down on your exhale. Semi-circle up and over, breathe in. Straight down on the breath out. Up and around, inhale. Down the straight line, exhale, really squeeze that thigh, up and around, no kinky knees, inhale, down the exhale. Let's reverse it. We're gonna bring it straight back up on the breath in, 
Now turn it out, circle down and away on the breath out. Up on the inhale, down and away on the exhale. So we're creating that semicircle shape, keeping the other hip and the other knee absolutely still, no wobbles. You're gonna keep your ribs to your hips and your hips on the ground. We've got one more in this direction. Creating those beautiful long leg lines. Inhale it up, exhale the right foot back down on the ground. All right, let's do this. Two legs. We're going to inhale the T-zone tight. Extend the left leg long and straight. Squeeze the front of the thigh. Feel the back of the knee yawn open and push the big toe away. Good. All right. Lifting the pelvic floor a little higher. Use the rib to hip connection to lower the foot down. Turn it out to the side. Semi-circle it up and around. Down and away on the exhale. Up and around on the inhale. So the right hip and the right knee have to stay very still. Often, if we find that really difficult to achieve, it can be because your foot is too close to your bottom. So if you're finding it difficult to keep your right hip and your right knee still, try and move that leg away just a little bit. All right, once we come to the bottom of the semicircle, straighten that leg, give it a squeeze. Inhale it back up. Now turn it out, circle down and around. We have it in neutral as it moves towards us. We turn it out as we take it away from us. Good, keep going. I'm just gonna watch you do your last three. Look at those beautiful pointy toes, Sally Campbell. It's an opportunity for you to obsess about your feet, Bree. Nice, Danielle, try and give that leg a little bit of a harder squeeze. Last one, everyone, inhale it back up. Bend the knee, pop it down onto the ground. All right, keep your body where it is. We're going to bring the legs up into a tabletop position. So to do that, teens are tight, we inhale, bring the right leg up as you exhale. Now I want you to try and push the mid back down without moving the hips. So we're going to move the ribs and the hips towards each other, breathe in, bring the left leg up as well as you breathe out. We're going to squeeze into the thighs today, bring the fingertips to the base of the skull, elbows out nice and wide. Crunches round two, tabletop. T-zone on the inhale, curl it up, eyes on thighs as we exhale, hollow belly. Lower it down as you breathe in, curl it up as you breathe out. Inhale to come down, exhale to curl up. Guys, I'm going to have to tell you, I didn't do a week of fitness with Sylvie and I have just started to have doms hit my thighs. I did class last night, my thighs are now telling me they hate tabletop position. Sylvie, I am thinking of you right now. Inhale to roll down, exhale, curl the ribs to the hips. Let's make this a little bit harder. Extending the arms on the exhale, coming back down behind the head as we inhale. You got four to go, keep moving, keep those legs beautiful and still. Danielle, you can move your knees just a, like two centimeters away from you. Yes, perfect, curling up, nice. Good, perfect, really nice, Lisa, really good, last one. Now, we're not going to move the legs. Keep the legs where they are. The head comes down onto the ground. We lower the hands down by the sides. Single toe tap. T-zone, six out of ten. Inhale. Right tiptoe, touch down. Exhale. Bring it back up as you breathe in. Left tiptoe down as we breathe out. Lift on the inhale. Lower on the exhale. Now, two things I can tell you. The first thing, you can make this exercise easier. How do you do that? Well, you're just going to take the toe down closer to your bottom. Yeah, but you want to be challenged. We don't get results by taking the easy path. So we want to extend the hip further to make it harder. Mm -hmm. So we extend the hip further until the toes touches the ground. The knee's still bent, but that's how we up the ante. We do that, though, still having to keep this section of low belly flat. If that's popping up, you need to bring it back to where you're in control. We're moving towards an imprinted spine. Everything is still, everything is tight. One more on each side. Last one. Draw the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. Go for three circles in one direction and go for three circles in the other direction. Wonderful stuff. All right, just give your legs a quick shake. I need to give my legs oh. I'm gonna get her. Um, all right, we're gonna come back into our tabletop position. We've got round two of our obliques crunches followed by our bicycle legs. Fingertips to the base of the skull. We're in an imprinted spine. 
which doesn't mean we're tucking our tailbone to push the middle of the back down. It means we're drawing the ribs to the hips to push the middle of the back down. T-zone tight on the inhale, curl the rib to the opposite hip as we exhale. Breathe slowly back down as we breathe in, switch it over as we breathe out. Down to the ground, inhale, over and across, exhale. I think you're ready to extend the arm towards the opposite thigh. Keep those legs still. Uh, Sally, I see you resting. Can I see you working? Thank you. <laughs> exhale it over, inhale it down. Really nice work. Good. Really beautiful tabletop redirect. Don't drop your heels too low. Lift them a tiny bit higher. Wonderful. Yes, same with you, Anita. Bring those the heels up a little bit higher. You're fine, Sally. You don't need to bring your heels that high. You got one more on each side. And then we're going to do the extended legs. So coming back to tabletop position, shoulders down, hands on the ground. Teas are in tight, we inhale. Extend the right leg as we exhale. Back to tabletop, breathe in. And when we extend, it's from the thigh, through the knee, push the big toe away. Bring it back into tabletop, from the thigh, through the knee, push the big toe away. Tabletop on the inhale, belly is flat as we find full extension through the leg. Great, now we're gonna start, now we find full extension through the leg, it's time to start challenging our core. So you can take the leg down a little lower and then bring it back up. Extend and lower, push it away. And then bring it back to tabletop, good. Extend, push it away. Bring it back to tabletop. Are your shoulders still down on the ground? Is your chin tucked in? Is the neck long? Is your belly flat? I hope so. This is your last one. Great. Hug the knees wide this time and rock from side to side. Before we do the next two exercises, we need to warm up our hamstrings. So we're going to bring the feet back down onto the ground. Your right foot will flex and come in towards your chest. Both hands will take a hold at the back of the thigh. Now, what I want you to remember is that this thigh is not allowed to shift away from your torso. Please continue to hold your leg as close to your torso as you can without lifting your bottom off the ground. We're going to start to energize the heel and send it up towards the ceiling, keeping the thigh against the body. And eventually, we're looking for the point where that leg will shake, 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 shake. That's what we want, all right? So back that off and extend it again five times. Back it off. Exhale, back it off. Exhale, one more. All right, hold it there. Don't let your leg move as you take the hand away. I want you to see how much your leg lowers as you extend it, straighten out the knee to the heel. How much does your leg have to lower? Squeeze the thigh, good, energize the back of the heel. Fantastic work. We're gonna lower the heel towards the floor, don't rest it on the floor, belly tight. Point the toe, bring the knee to the chest. Now, the thigh isn't supposed to move as we extend the leg. Really nice, flex the foot, lower the heel down. Point the toe, bring the knee towards the chest, extend the leg, squeeze, 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 flex the foot. Lower it down, really focus on that knee to here without shifting the thigh, extend the leg fully, flex the foot one more time. Point the toe, bring it in, squeeze the thigh, back of the knee yawns open, it extends, flex the foot. Now we're gonna hover that foot off the ground. T's are in tight, hips are square. Lift it, flex on the inhale, point the toe, Bring the knee so the foot is near the other knee and then slide it out long and straight. Good, flex the foot, lift it to the ceiling. Point the toe, bend the knee, extend it away. Squeeze it long and straight, flex the foot. Up to the ceiling, point the toe, bend, extend low. Flex it, lift it, point it, bend it, Hold here. All right, really push that big toe away, guys. I want you to feel the length of the top of the ankle. I want you to feel the thigh plugging up into the hip socket and the toe pulling away. Exhale the leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, hover it just off the ground. We are in parallel. Exhale it up. Inhale it down. Don't let that knee kink. Keep it perfectly straight. Inhale it down. Now exhale it up, grab a hold. 
wherever you can, keeping that leg, leg perfectly long and straight. We're going to inhale the T-zone tight. But just listen to me. Keep breathing while you're stretching. We're going to inhale the T-zone tight, and we're going to hold the breath for five. And while we're holding the breath, we're pushing our leg through the hands as hard as we can. Then we get to relax and exhale. We'll inhale and then try and pull the leg a little deeper. And we're going to do that twice through. Here we go. Inhale the T-zone tight. Hold your breath. Scissor the leg through the hands for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, relax. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, draw the leg in easily closer. Now straighten it up when it's closer. Really notice your foot. You should see the heel around to the side, even when your leg's in neutral. Your heel should not be hidden. Cool? Really lengthen through to the big toe. Let's do it again. T-zone tight. Breathe in. Hold it. Push the leg through the hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Breathe in, prepare. Breathe out, draw the leg closer. Now really squeeze that leg long and straight. Last challenge, guys. We're going to keep the leg perfectly straight and we're going to keep it where it is. And then we're going to take the hands away. You can make your legs stay at your new range of motion due to active flexibility. Hold it for five. We're not going down yet. Four, three, two, one. Now flex the foot. Don't let it move. You're going to pulse the toes towards your nose. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower that heel almost to the floor. Point the toe. Bring your foot back where it started. Woof, other side. Bring that left thigh in towards your chest. Hands are going to hold it in position. Really pull down. Flex the foot, active and strong, and see where we find that shimmy, shimmy shape. Where is it? Where is that trembling leg? There it is. Inhale, back it up. Exhale it up for one. Inhale, back it up. Exhale up for two. We have three to go. Keeping the thigh against the belly. Finding that maximum jiggle. <laughs> the tremble. Last one. Good. Keep it there. Don't let it move at all. Not off the thigh. We're going to take the hands away. Now I want you to energize the leg with your mind. Extend it. Extend it. Extend it. How much lower did it get? Are both hips still even? Are they even on the floor? Is the bottom down? All right. Let's lower this leg towards the ground. Point the toe. Bring it in. Thigh stays in position. Extend the leg fully. Flex. Lower, point, bring it in, extend and squeeze, flex, lower down, point. Is that you, Tom? Oh, sorry, our neighbors are being noisy. Lower down. All right, from the bottom here, we reverse it. Sweep it up, point the toe, knee to the chest, extend away. Sweep it up. Uh, flex the foot. There's a hammering that's just annoying the shit out of me. Point the toe, bring it in, extend it away. Flex the foot, bring it up, keep it squeezed, point the toe, heel in, away, flex it, lift it. All right, point it and away. From here, keep the toe pointed. We're going straight up and down. Hip square, belly strong. Lift it, really squeeze it straight, lower it. Point that toe harder, lift it. I want you to feel the energy of the big toe lengthening out of the foot. So it's lengthening away from the arch of the foot. Three, and catch it. Great, wherever you can hold it is perfect. It's time for our PNF stretch. So we've been working on the reciprocal inhibition. That means we're squeezing the front of the thigh to extend the back of the leg. Now we're gonna use some PNF technique. So inhale the T-zone tight, hold it. And then press for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, relax. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, bring the leg in. You ready to go again? T-zone tight, breathe in. And hold as you scissor for five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pull it closer. 
Good. We're gonna hold it here for five, four, and then when we get to one, we're releasing the hands. It's not moving. Three, two, one. Release. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now flex and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower the heel down. Point the toe. Bring it back to your start position in neutral. Just let your legs shake from side to side. Okay, so the next two exercises we're about to do, I'm going to demo for you before we do them so that I can get you to go through them straight away. It's a very quick demo. I'm going to pull the knee to my nose with both hands, shoulders are back and down, and I'm sitting up as tall as I can. I inhale to switch, I exhale to squeeze. This is our single leg stretch. Single straight leg stretch, I'll bring your legs up, you have got to push your tailbone down, hold wherever you can, T's on time, inhale to double half. Inhale, switch. Inhale, switch. So my posture is set, my arms are by my side, and when I bring my legs towards me, it's like I'm fanning myself. Let's get cracking, tabletop position, my love. You're in an imprinted spine, but your bum's still down. T's on tight, we inhale, curl up, grab the right knee, extend the left one as you exhale. Switch as you breathe in, squeeze as you breathe out. Now we're sitting up tall, the shoulders are down, and I want you to think about how long that leg is and how straight it is when it reaches away. Doesn't have to be low to the ground, but it does have to be straight as an arrow. All right, grab your left leg, hold it. Bring the right leg up, bring the left leg up. Come to the back of the right leg, T-zone tight, breathe in, double half the left leg down. Inhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Keep going. So we've got our double leg stretch, our single, our straight leg stretch. Looking really good, guys. Try not to let the leg bend as it moves towards you. Try and reach further, sit up higher and squeeze that leg straight. Squeeze the front of the thigh so the back of the knee yawns open. Reach through the big toe, lengthen through the arch of the foot for three. Good, Lisa, your form's perfect. Two. Nice, Danielle, nice compression. Perfect, three. Last one. Good and relax. And I see some very nice flying legs on Anita. <laughs> Reach your arms out long and straight. Have a nice big stretch. Okie dokie, team. We're going to come into our Pilates 100s preparation. In this one, we always come back to our start position. It's really important that the hands never travel back of the shoulders. Cool, we're just scooping them in a semicircle. In this exercise, we'll be extending the leg, fully extending them. So trying to find a very straight line through the knees to the toes, and then carefully replacing them back in tabletop. So we're going to curl up. Inhale the T-zone tight. Let's start. Curl up and sweep the hands to the hips. Control it back to the floor as you breathe in. Sweep the arms around, sit up as you breathe out. Control to the ground, inhale. Now, while that T zone tight and the belly flat, let's add the legs now. As you curl up and sweep the arms down, the toes point up to the ceiling. As you lie back down, bend the knees carefully. So when your fingers are down by your hips, your toes are up in the air. And when you're in tabletop position, your fingers point straight up. Exhale, curl around, sit up. Inhale to fly back down in tabletop. So we go, this is our end position, hands by the hips, toes in the air. This is our start position, tabletop and arm prep. Keep going. Use the breath. Don't drop your feet lower than your knees, Re. Control them. Control those feet in space. Use your proprioception. Good work, guys. You've got two more. Keeping those thighs perfectly still. Last one. Beautiful. Nice work. All right. So after our 100s prep comes the 100s. The idea is to hold our shape while we inhale for five pulses of the arms and exhale for five pulses of the arms until we get to 100 pulses. We're not trying to train a sore neck. Okay, so if one, if you're feeling your neck straining, keep pulsing with one hand, support the head with a wide elbow with the other hand. You can switch whenever you feel like it. And if you need to, support the head with both hands. 
If it's absolutely desperate, you can put your arms down, your head down and continue pulsing with the arms. But the feet may not touch the floor until I say done. I will yell at you. I can see you. Okay. <laughs> All right, bring it up, start position. Three levels to choose from. I'll take you through them as we're moving. Hands on the edges of the thighs. T-zone tight. Six and a half out of ten. Inhale. Curl the ribs to the hips. Reach long through the fingertips. Exhale. Set your posture. Breathe in. Five pulses. Breathe out. Inhale for five. Lift the pelvic floor. Exhale for five. Ribs dish down to hips. Now, if you want to extend those legs into level two, give it a try. If it's too hard at any time, you can come back to level one. But try and keep those legs extended as you breathe, squeeze, and pulse. If you want to make it even harder, you flex your feet. You turn your toes out, but keep your knees and heels glued together. Then you get down low, keep your belly flat, and go, go, go. Inhaling for five pulses of the arms. Exhaling for five pulses of the arms. You're going to keep breathing. You're going to keep squeezing. You're going to keep pulsing. Good. Inhaling for five. Exhaling for five. I can see Danielle using perfect inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth technique. Very good work, keeping beautiful, stable position. Re, you've got your legs below the vertical, so you need to flex your feet and turn them out. Re, yeah, flex and turn out. Yeah, so when you take them lower, you flex and turn out. Now take your heels two centimetres lower. Take your heels two centimetres further away. Come on, yeah, and again. Yes, hold it there. Keep them connected. Keep your heels together. Squeeze into the midline of the legs. Nice. You're doing amazing, guys. Beautiful, Anita. Curl up taller. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing. Keep pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. Done. Killer. You guys are amazing. <laughs> so good. So good. Okay. One more to go, well, two more to go, actually, I'm lying to you. We've got two more abs exercises. The first one is the harder of the two, so I guess that's a plus. We've got our scissors. We're going to be in a tabletop, we're going to have our legs extended, and we can either have our hands here if we're still feeling strong, or we can have the hands supporting the back face of the skull if our neck's feeling tired. Cool, so once we're curled up, we're gonna lower one leg down as we exhale, bring it back up as we breathe in. I want it to stay as straight as you can, yeah? I want the legs to be as straight as, as humanly possible. Let's bring it up to our start position, legs fully extended. We'll start with the hands at the base of the skull, inhale the T-zone tight, curl up on the exhale and extend, roll the shoulders down, breathe in, and then take the right leg down as we breathe out. Lift it, use your pelvic floor. Inhale, dish the ribs to hips. You lower the leg down, exhale. Lift it back up as you breathe in. Now you can make this super tiny, guys. You can make it a really small lower and lift while you're working with straight legs. Yeah, so I'd rather see the legs stay straight and travel less far. Ray, can you try and keep your feet on top of your hips? They're moving away from you. Try and keep your feet on yet yeah, higher. I know the quads have to work so hard for that, right? They have to work really hard. So we want to try and get the leg perfectly vertical. Yeah, but bum down. Good. Yes, yes. Nice from there. Good. Beautiful, Lise. Keeping it nice and straight. Nice, Anita. Try and control and slow a little bit more. Sally, you're doing a great job. Good. You got three more. Nice, Danielle, supporting the head. Try and squeeze those legs, tighten them nice and straight. Last one on the left. Hug the knees wide, rock from side to side. Last exercise, lovers. This one is your, um, it's the strawberry version of the crisscross. So I do crisscross in Neapolitan flavors. In vanilla, we put the head down each time. In strawberry, we keep the head lifted as we move from side to side. And chocolate, you don't want to know. You go real quick. We're not doing chocolate today. We're keeping it nice and slow, very focused. All right. Tabletop position. We're going to combine our obliques twists with our bicycle legs. And we're going to take our body over to our left first as we extend our right leg. So tabletop and T-zone tight. Inhale. Twist it over to the left. Right leg extends. Exhale. Keep the head lifted. Come back to the center, breathe in. Twist it over to the other side, breathe out. Back to the center on the inhale. Twist it over on the exhale. 
Find the middle, breathe in and twist it across, breathe out. Now keep moving, keeping your elbows open. Elbows open, it's the rib to the opposite hip, set beautiful posture. Nice, over and extend on the exhale. Good, back down on the inhale. Well, back to the middle on the inhale. We're not coming up, stay up, Rain. we're not coming to the floor. We're just coming to the center. Over on the exhale, to the middle on the inhale. Head stays up, yes. Over on the exhale, middle on the inhale. You've got this now, guys, five to go. Yes, and four, squeeze that leg long and straight. Three. And two, last one, and roll it down. Take your legs and arms out long and straight. Have a nice stretch. Abs is finally over. I know that's a really long abs sequence, but you've actually got a really beautiful hamstring stretch as a bonus halfway through. So you're welcome. <laughs> okay, let's keep the legs out while we work on glute prep. We're going to wake our bum up because we're going to do some butt stuff. Inhale the T-zone tight. Exhale, squeeze your glutes as tight as you can. Now, when you're really squeezing your glutes, the hamstrings lift off the floor. Hold that for another breath in and slowly soften as you breathe out. T-zone tightens as we inhale. Buttons of steel as we exhale. Hold that for a breath in and soften as you breathe out. One more time, we're getting the hang of this. T-zone tightens, inhale. Glutes really squeeze like you mean it as we exhale. Hold that for a breath in. Soften down as you breathe out. Let's step those feet in nice and close. So if you reach with your fingertips, we don't want them too close. We want to be able to touch them. Yeah. And then we're in our neutral pelvis. Shoulders are going to be flat on the floor. Hands are going to be flat on the floor. Chin is tucked in. Neck is nice and long. T-zone tight. Breathe in. Tuck the tailbone under and one vertebrae at a time, start to roll up through the spine as you breathe out. And we're gonna create a straight line from the shoulders all the way to the knees. At the top, check your legs are still parallel, squeeze the underbutt and lift the pelvic floor as you inhale. We scoop the ribs in to press one vertebrae at a time down, keeping the tailbone scooping under as we exhale. Now, once you reach the bottom, roll through, Lift and inhale, teeth are tight, peeling one vertebrae at a time as you exhale. So we use the exhale to move, the inhale, pause and reset, and the exhale to lower back down. The inhale to release and recover. T zone, then exhale, move on. Keep pushing the shoulders through the floor. And we're going to hold at the top. Inhale as you push your left foot through the ground. I need you to keep your hips still as you exhale and extend the right leg fully. Inhale, replace the right foot down where it started. Velcro lift the left leg, extend it fully. Inhale, replace. Exhale, extend. So your hips have to stay the same height. That means when you push your heel through the ground, you gotta squeeze into the center of the butt cheeks. And I want it to be your under butt working really hard here, not your low back. If you feel your low back starting to take hold, watch what I'm doing here. Hands under the bum, lift. Cool, give yourself the support you need. Keep going, exhaling to extend. I know this is hell for those hamstrings that have been stretched, kicking into their fibers. Yeah, Danny, I'll try and bring your hands lower down on your bum so that you can get yeah, lower down under your butt. Yes, so you can still have a neutral spine because if you have it there, you're arching your back quite a lot. Rib to hip connection, rib to hip connection, tight belly, pubic bone traveling upwards. One more on each side, finishing on the left leg. Once you inhale the left foot down, go ahead and roll down vertebrae by vertebrae as you exhale. Lovely. All right, coming up onto our knees now, please. I find that this exercise always works much better once we do it in connection with the um, pelvic bridge series. So these are our hinge exercise. We're gonna bring the hands in front to begin. 
my knees are just on the in line with my hip bones and I'm really already when I set up to keep straight through the front of the hip I'm squeezing the center and underneath of my butt now even though my arms are forward I'd like you to draw them into the center of the back and they're in line with your chest not in line with your collarbones T's are tight inhale bring it back in a straight line exhale return to the top of the movement inhale back in a straight line keeping the belly in the chin tucked in exhale to the top of the movement so we've got to remember that the neck is part of the back you want to imagine that there is a string rising up out of your skull that keeps you in suspension good inhaling back in a straight line exhaling to the top of the movement keep going let me check your hinge i'm going to make sure that people's bums aren't dropping back Nice, beautiful, Lise. Really good, Reed. Can I get you to wrap your shoulders down into your ribs a little bit more? Yes. Nice. Keep the ribs contained. Keep the front ribs in the body. One more of these. Great. Let's bring the hands down onto the ground now. All fours, please. T's on tight. Breathing in neutral pelvis, but long spine. So that means we have to lift our head. We're not allowed to drop it. We're going to extend the right leg out until it is fully straight. Careful that it doesn't sickle in. I want you to push your big toe away. Get out of here, big toe. Now we're going to inhale again. We're going to lift the leg from the underbutt without moving the pelvis. Can we slowly inhale, bend the knee, and slowly exhale back to that same lifted extended spot? Slowly bring it back as you inhale and extend it out long and straight without going too high as you exhale because I want to be able to balance a bowl of soup on your pelvis and not spill any. Good. Lift your head a little higher, Anita. Lift your head a little bit more. Yeah, that's great. Exhale it back. Inhale in. Nice work, guys. Really lift your head, please. Lift your head higher. Yeah, thank you. Good. Remember that your shoulders and your arms belong to your back. Your shoulders belong to your back. So I want you to squeeze your arms into the ribs to get your shoulders and your back to hold you in position. One more on the right leg. Inhale it down. You can turn your hands over for a sec. Just gently stretch out the wrists. And then replace the hands on the ground. So long, neutral spine, keeping the head lifted. The arms belong to the back. T's are in tight. We inhale, extend the legs straight as we exhale. Now we're going to lift and hover it, keeping the pelvis even as we breathe out. Slowly bring it back to where it started, breathing in. Extend the leg out long and straight on the exhale. Slowly draw it back in as we inhale. Doesn't matter how high it is, but it does matter how straight it is. Push the big toe away. And I also want both of your hip bones, the ones on the front of the body, facing down towards the ground. So often when we start extending our leg, we turn out. Fight that urge. Keep the knee facing straight down. Really good. Inhale, bend it back in. Exhale, take it away. Good. Really nice. You've got three more. Inhale it in. Really beautiful posture here. And you're all working so hard on keeping the pelvis stable. You're doing a brilliant job. Last two. Really good, guys. Last one. Exhale it back. Inhale the knee to the floor and come back onto your knees for round two of our hinge. So this one, we're going to add some postural work. Then we're going to do some actual postural work and then we're finished. Okay. So setting up for the hinge round two, the arms are forward. We're going to inhale it back into a straight line. Exhale, turn the palms up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, but keep the ribs in the body. Inhale it back to where the arms started. Exhale to the top of the movement. So it's more complex and more challenging. Let's go. Inhale, T-zone tight, take it back. Exhale, squeeze into the shoulders, palms face up. Neutral hands to close on the breath in and back to the top of the movement, breath out. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, palms open. Inhale, squeeze them in. 
exhale top of the movement so i want you to imagine that you're moving your arms through water there's resistance around your armpits especially as you squeeze on the inhale and then exhale to the top of the movement keep going at your own pace so like you're moving through water like you're resisting keep going danielle inhale it back exhale it open inhale it close like you're moving through Maybe even setting, re your overarching your back. So I need you to tuck your bum a little more and feel more rib to hip connection. So the ribs and the hips on your belly aren't allowed to move apart. They have to stay connected. Yeah, so ribs and hips pulling up under the ribs. Nice, so much better. Give me one more team. You've killed it, doing so great. All right, job done. Come on down onto your chest. Down onto your chest. I'm just gonna make sure you can actually see me here, pretty much. Uh, I would like it if you have your forehead on the ground so your chin can tuck in, but if that feels uncomfortable, you can actually roll up the end of your mat and make a pillow with that. We're gonna have the arms extended today and the forehead down. Tuck the tailbone under, lift the belly button off the ground. Make sure that your feet, the big toes, push down through the floor so that you can lengthen through the tops of the ankles and create more space. T-zone tight, we breathe in. We're gonna squeeze the shoulders back and down in a V-shape as we breathe out. Relax them as we inhale. Squeeze back and down as we exhale. I want you to keep your elbows fully extended. You should feel more space under your armpits as you exhale and pull the shoulders back and inhale, you relax them, the armpits get closer to the floor. Exhale, squeeze back, inhale, relax. One more time, try to squeeze into the middle of the back and then exhale, relax. Right, we're gonna lift the head as well. Squeeze back, lift the head as we exhale. Slowly lower down, the hands slide along the floor. Tailbone is tucked, chin is tucked in, we're looking down. Exhale, slide back and squeeze. Inhale, control to the floor. Exhale, slide back and squeeze. Inhale, control to the floor. Hold at the top. Tailbone tucking under, so your pubic bone is pressing into the ground, belly button is lifting higher, inhale. Lift the right arm as you exhale. Lower it down as you breathe in. Lift the left arm as you breathe out. Lower it down as you breathe in. Lift the right arm. Keep going. One breath, one lift. Keep faces off the ground now, guys. Lisa, you can lift your head higher. You can lift your head even higher. Yeah, there. That's good. good. That's the line of your spine with your back. Really nice, guys. Push those ankles through the floor, re push them down more, more, more. We're lifting the arm up. We're not lifting it back. We're trying to create good patterning with the arm lifting. Yes, straight up and then down. Pushing the ankles through the floor. You've got two more, guys. Sally, is that your cat trying to get out? Last one. <laughs> and press it back into child's pose. Good work, team. We are going to do one plank, and it's going to be a plank on your elbows today. And just as we've been working on having perfectly extended straight legs throughout the practice, I'm just going to grab a block. Sorry. We're going to just from my other side. Just as we've been working on having perfectly straight legs all the way through the class. Today, what we're focusing on is squeezing the legs together. So we're trying to create a uni leg, one leg. So tightly we're squeezing them together and so straight they are. And that's gonna convince gravity that there's less of us to suck down and it'll make us be able to hold our plank a little longer and a little stronger. So your elbows are directly under your shoulders to begin. You can even be slightly behind them, but not a great deal, okay? I don't, definitely don't want you in front of your elbows. Take one foot back, lengthen it back as far as you can, and then take the other toe to meet it, squeeze into the ankle, squeeze into the knees. Now I need you to squeeze the creases under your butt. 
and I need you to push your hips more towards the floor. I need you to lengthen your spine, to lengthen the back of the neck and look forward at your thumbs. So we're looking down at the ground, but we're looking forward at the thumbs. And you're really energizing the heels as you're squeezing into the legs and you're really squeezing the belt around the hips. We're dishing the hips to the ribs on the front body, but we're making sure we're not collapsing through the shoulders, nor are we over pushing. We want neutral through the shoulders as well as neutral through the body. I'm checking on you, looking really good, Danielle. A little bit more rib to hip connection. Really nice. Good, Ree. Really good. Nice, Sally. Good. Keep the neck extending. Don't drop your head. Perfect, Lisa. You guys are so strong. We have another 20 seconds here. Really beautiful. Keep breathing. Strong belly. Your shoulders look perfect. The necks are all still in amazing alignment from what I can see. Those legs are all perfectly straight. Keep squeezing them. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Take it back to child's pose. This time bring your hands back beside your feet. Okay, rolling up through the spine. We're going to have a quick stretch. We did a lot of quads and hip flexors today. So take the hands. We're going to start by doing both quads at once. Take the hands behind you, but make sure they're turning out to the side or into your butt. Try not to spin your hands all the way back. So out to the side is fine. Push your knees down, squeeze your butt, lift your hips up. Squeeze in the quads. So all I did, I was sitting on my feet, I squeezed my bum, I lift my hips. Great, that's our first quad stretch. Coming up onto your knees, bring your right foot forward 90 degrees at the hips and the knees on both sides. Just be conscious you don't dump into the left hip here. Make sure the hips are even, the left hip is drawing up into the ribs. Right hand on the knee, left arm in the air. Take a big breath in, breathe out, tip to the right. Now I want you to scoop your tailbone right under, tip over a little further. Can you roll that left shoulder back? Good. How are we getting that stretch through the hip flexor? I bloody hope so. Bring the right arm up as well. Slide the, left, the right foot further forward. Now I want you, rather than dumping into the pelvis and letting the tailbone come back and the ribs flare, keep the pubic bone and the ribs connected as you squeeze the left butt cheek forward. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I'm feeling that. And if you now want to add the back bend, you can. Stretching out your abs. Don't do what I just did with my head. Keep your chin tucked in the back of the neck, nice and long. And then circle the hands down to your hips. Close the ribs to the hips. Push back. Bring the right leg down. Step the left foot out. So we're 90 90 through the hips, they're nice and square across the front, evenly lifted through both sides of the waist. Left hand on the left knee, right arm up by the ear. And we're scooping the pubic bone up into the belly and then roll to the left. Try and stay in line with your ribs and your hips, keeping the ribs down, keeping the hip forward. Good, opening through the side, keep squeezing your right butt cheek to open the right hip. Keep rotating it in, lifting it up. Nice. Now bring the left arm up as well. Step the left foot further forward. We're going to inhale, tease our tight rise. Exhale, squeeze the right butt cheek as you come forward. Don't let your back arch. Not yet. And we're not dumping into the pelvis. Pubic bone is still rising up to the ribcage. We're squeezing that right hip to open, well, the right butt cheek to open the hip. And now you can start to Roll the shoulders back, keep the chin tucked in. Breathe. Circle the hands down to the hips, close the ribs to the hips and press back. We're gonna lie down on our back to stretch out our butt. Opening the right knee as it's crossed over the left, drawing in towards you. So your hands come to the back of the left thigh and your right knee pushes that leg out to the right. Look for the sweet spot. Move around a little bit. Look for where this is the most magical. Hold it for five. Keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. Other side. 
pressing it over, drawing it in, pushing the knee away and then looking for where you get the most bang for your buck. Where does this work best for you? Releasing out of that. We're going to take both knees up to the chest, curl the spine, curl the nose to the knees, start your rock and roll. Now, when you're ready to balance it, we're going to balance it. Ooh. Cross the legs, bring the hands forward. I'm going to disappear out of frame, but that's okay. I'll come back. Tuck the toes, press the hips back, bring the nose towards the knees. We're going to press the heels down through the ground. Admire how long and loose and happy your hamstrings feel. Nod the head yes. Release tension in the neck. Shake the head no. You don't want to go. And one vertebrae at a time. Slowly roll up through the spine, stacking. Thinking about one on top of the other. The biggest Tetris tower you could possibly create. Lifting the shoulders up, rolling them back, sliding them down drawing the chin in and extending to crown. Thank you so much for your hard work, guys.